So given a complex number, let's say you have a plus bi, its conjugate will be a minus bi. So for my examples, if I have 5 plus 2i, its conjugates will be 5 minus 2i. And if I have negative 3 plus 2i, my conjugate will be negative 3 minus 2i. Now if you will notice in my examples, all the real part will not change its sign when you're looking for its conjugate. But the imaginary part of your complex number will change from positive to negative and from negative to positive. And that's how you find the conjugate of a complex number. Now, the conjugates of the complex numbers are what we're using in rationalizing rational expressions. And we're going to find out what those terms or mathematical terms are on the next example. So these are the conjugates of the complex numbers. Now, before we can divide complex number, we need to learn how to multiply conjugates. So if I have a complex number 2 plus 3i, and I'm asked to multiply the conjugate of 2 plus 3i, I would know that I have my complex number 2 plus 3i and its conjugate as 2 minus 3i. Now, this is an important method that we use in dividing complex number. So let's use the FOIL method, the method that we are using for multiplying two binomials because the complex number looks like a binomial, so we can use the FOIL method. So if we have 2 times 2, we have 4. 2 times negative 3i is negative 6i. 3i times 2 is positive 6i. And 3i times negative 3i is negative 9i squared. And by simplifying, we'll be able to combine like terms. Negative 6i plus 6i is 0. And 9i squared can be simplified because we know that i squared is equal to negative 1. So we can change i squared into negative 1. So now we have 4 plus 9, which gives us 13. So the product, or when we multiply 2 plus 3i and its conjugate, the answer will always be a real number. That's why now we have 13, and you're not seeing an imaginary number now. What I want to point out on my second solution is when you're multiplying a complex number by its conjugate, we have a shortcut that we could use. Take note that this shortcut will only work or will only apply for complex number multiplied by its conjugate. And the shortcut would be to simply multiply the real part and the imaginary part. We don't need to use the FOIL method, which takes a while to finish. So in this case, you will notice that we'll have the same answer if we just multiply the real part and the imaginary part. So if I multiply 2 times 2, I'll have 4. 3i times negative 3i, I have negative 9i squared. Simplifying my i squared gives me negative 1. So I have 4 plus 9 equals 13, which is similar to the answer that I got from foiling. Now, take note that this method only works for conjugates. So you're not going to be able to use this if you're multiplying a complex number to another complex number of different sets. So um, make sure that you know this step before you can multiply conjugates. Now, in our examples, we are going to rationalize rational expressions. So there are two mathematical terms that we are using today, rationalizing and rational expressions. So before we can rationalize rational exp expressions, let's figure out or let's learn what those words are. When we hear the words rationalizing in mathematics, it means we're trying to get rid of the um, rational or the complex number in your denominator. So it could be a complex number or it could be a um, radical expression, but today we'll just use the complex number. So when we rationalize, we get rid of the complex number in the denominator. Now what is a rational expression? Rational expressions are like fractions. So if we have a fraction, we know a fraction is like two-thirds or one-half or seven over three. But a rational expression, it's a fraction with polynomials. Or we can say they are polynomials in fraction form. So my examples here, we are seeing polynomials in fraction forms like 2x over 3x plus 5 or x over 3 plus x and 7 over 8x. So these are rational expression, similar to what we are working on today. 
So in my first example, I need to rationalize the rational expression. And my rational expression here is 2 over 5i. Now, the rule in complex number is that you're not supposed to have an imaginary part in your denominator. And that's what we're doing. We are rationalizing to get rid of the imaginary part in the denominator. And to rationalize example 1, all we need to do is to multiply the numerator and the denominator by i. So the rule in this type of rational expression, when you only have an imaginary number in your denominator, is to multiply the numerator and the denominator by i. So if we multiply them together, 2 times i is 2i, and 5i times i is 5i squared. And we know that i squared is negative 1, so if we simplify this further, our rational expression will become 2i all over negative 5. And if you will notice, the denominator is no longer an imaginary number. So we already rationalized. So this is a rationalized expression from 2 over 5i. So notice that there's no more imaginary number. So we have completed our task. Now for number 2.